my name is Vadim Spencer Comrie, also known as NSC Fitness. Um, I'm 24 years old, I live in Huddersfield and I'm a personal trainer, young entrepreneur. Um, I own my own um, clothing brand, um, merchandise for fitness equipment. Um, I also am an ambassador for fitness um, in UK and Power Fitness UK as well. I grew up in Bradley, all right, HD2 area, grew up in Bradley, but I went to school in HD6, Brigos, went to a school called Rushtrick High School. Um, so yeah, growing up in Bradley, you know, back in the day, it was, you know, it was, it was, it was crazy, it was a crazy time, you know what I'm saying? Um, my mum wanted me to go to a better school, but I think I went to a school in Bradley. She thought that I was probably going to go the wrong way, so I took it to Rushtrick. Um, and that's where I um, started going to more football and sports and then it's led me to this career now. Ah, achievements I'm most proud of. Um, I'm most proud of actually forming a team. Um, a lot of personal trainers, you know what I mean, you train clients and whatnot, you have the clientele, da -da 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 -da, you make your money and whatnot. But I feel like what I've done over the past four years is build a team. Um, I've done events with my team, I've taken my teams to talk other events. I've been able, I've been able to, um, to do um, Christmas meals with a full team, events, boot camps, you know what I mean? I feel like I've got a community that I've kind of like got together. So that's my big issue, growing the team, NSC Fitness team. The biggest challenge I've had to go through um, I lost my granddad. Um, I lost my granddad two years ago now, um, and this was a time where, you know what I mean? I was building my clientele, I was building my team. You know what I'm saying? Things were happening, things were good. You know, I lost my granddad, so it was like it was a big. It put me down. You know what I'm saying? It stopped me for quite a long time, and then I had to overcome that and still think that I've got business to run. I've got my little empire that I need to go through with so um, just being able to deal with that get through that you know what I'm saying and have that as a reason to push me to you know I mean to make the business a lot better and to grow my team a lot further as well that was my biggest challenge oh damn um, inspiration motivation um, motivation, that's not motivation, so being a, obviously a young man in this field in the UK and whatnot, um, wanting to be successful, that is a, it's a motivation for me, you know what I'm saying, I want to be successful, I want people to think, yeah, he's come from here, he's come from there, he's done this, he's doing that, you know what I mean, he's getting people coming together, he's changing people's lives, me knowing people are thinking that, and thinking that in their head when they think of my name, NSC Fitness, that is my motivation, that keeps me going. That makes me want to wake up in the morning, push further, get my clients where they want to get to, make people feel better, change people's lives. That's my motivation. Inspiration? Um, inspiration? Uh, it's been a lot of heads that I've looked up at over the years. Um, it's been a lot. But it probably starts from um, people, the, the older heads in my um, in my area, so for example, Steve Smith, I don't know if you know him, um, but he started working in schools with children from when I was young. Um, he used to be my old football coach at Deaton Juniors FC, um, and he started working with children, you know what I'm saying? And from when he started working with children, football, and the community, um, he kept on doing stuff. He didn't stop, he kept on doing it, he kept on doing it, he kept on doing it. Working with kids, different schools, and I saw that about three years back, I saw that, I thought, yo, Steve's still working with the kids, you know, he's still doing this, and I thought, he's got that going, working with the kids, doing his football team and whatnot, and I thought, you know what I'm saying, I used to be a captain when I used to play football. All the teams that I played football for, I used to be a captain. So I said to myself, right, I'm going to take this as a captain role. I'm going to be a captain for my team, you know what I'm saying, so that's how it kind of stemmed for my NSC fitness team. It's kind of based around my background from football, but I'm now changing it for the personal training and obviously I'm just getting the fitness. So yeah, Steve Smith, um, he gave me a bit of inspiration um, to build obviously. So.
safety and COVID. Um, so, with COVID, believe it or not, I'm probably one of the people that have kind of benefited from it, you know what I'm saying? Because before COVID, March time, um, I was personal training, doing events, doing this, doing that, building a team, which was great. I always wanted to do um, outdoor boot camps. That's always what I wanted to do, outdoor boot camps. I always wanted to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more flexible with, with myself and my training. Not having to always come to the gym to train a client. So when COVID happened, I invested in a home gym. Um, so all the money that I had saved, I invested in a home gym, started buying equipment, week in, week out, and then I formed a nice home gym. So with that home gym, I started training my clients. When Morris gave the, um, the all go, I started training clients from the house. Um, I used to go down to the park, bring all my equipment out to the park in Bradley, and I'd do my boot camps, and train my clients day in, day out, train my clients. I started working and I started doing boot camps. Boot camps were doing good and they started getting around the area. So people started to know that I was doing boot camps. And I'm saying they got bigger, it got bigger. And I got people, photograph I got photographers coming, I got people videoing it. You know what I'm saying? So um, COVID kind of gave me that push to go further with my boot camps, um, to then have that independence and then train, and to know that I can train wherever. I don't need a gym to train people at the gym. I can train people at my yard. I can train people at their house, I can train people without equipment, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think if COVID didn't happen, I feel like I would never have pushed myself to do that. So, yeah. Next to me. Where I came from, you know what I'm saying? Um, high school, went to sixth form. Sixth form didn't kind of work out for me. Football scholarship didn't work out for me. Personal training kept it going. I remember being in high school. Um, I was in the lowest set in P. Sorry, I was in the I was in the highest set P, but I had the lowest um, science grade. Everyone had A's and whatnot, so you had to get, be getting them high grades. Um, and I did really good in P, and everyone thought I wasn't going to do that well. But you know now I'm a personal trainer. I've done extended degree in sports and now I'm, I'm up here when it comes to physical, physical education. So if you're in high school, um, sixth form and whatnot, just remember the results that you get there, alright, doesn't really determine what you get in the future. You know what I'm saying? You never stop. High school is not the, uh, not the end of, you know what I'm saying? After that, you still keep learning, you never stop learning, you keep reaching. Yeah, so that's going back to my slogan, if you've ever heard it, reaching desired results, that's the same life of education as well, reaching desired results. You never stop. You keep reaching further to get the best result that you can get for later life. Alright, you want to form a great career, alright, so you keep reaching for that as well.